Yes, can you hear the slide? Uh, okay, thank you very much, Professor Tonaga. And I uploaded a PDF of the newest slides to the chat because I revised the one I submitted in advance. Today, I would like to talk about an attempt to use Arabic OCR process on Maghreb script. Well, this slide shows the table contents. First, in the introduction, I will indicate what is OCR briefly. Then, I will talk about my background and my interest. Next, I will explain about main three topics, the importance of Arabic OCR, uh, present condition of Arabic OCR, and how to make OCR on handwritten Arabic manus manuscript. Finally, I will speak future prospect along my study. Now, I start with showing what is OCR. OCR is abbreviation for, uh, abbreviation for optical character reader or recognition. That is to say, a technology to recognize text inside scanned image and convert them into digital character codes. More details will be discussed later. Then, I talk about my background. My discipline is history and religion. Why did I become interested in OCR? The topic of my doctoral thesis is Sufi thoughts and movements in 15th and 16th centuries Morocco. I will take up my uh, many Sufis, and quite a lot of them were ulamas, saints, or local celebrities at the same time. I would like to deal with my study with more than two aspects of them in my mind. Therefore, uh, there are a wide variety of works that I should consider. For example, Sufi books, uh, hagiographies, jurisprudential books, and so on. Furthermore, many of those sources uh, remained as handwritten manuscripts in Maghreb script. With my own human power, putting manuscripts into digital text data takes from 20 to 40 minutes for, per one side of a folio. So, I need to put manuscripts into digital data efficiently. If OCR becomes effective on handwritten Maghreb manuscripts, I will be able to concentrate on interpretation of descriptions and examining much more sources. Now, let's get down to the main topic. I explain about OCR in detail, and I state the importance of Arabic OCR. To begin with, I talk about the history of development of OCR briefly. Research on character recognition has been conducted since the beginning of the 20th century. Commercialization of OCR on English began in the 90s, uh, 1950s. In recent years, accuracy of OCR has been improved by artificial intelligence. In particular, the evolution of AI in the last few years has been remarkable, and OCRs that can recognize handwritten manuscripts in European language and Japanese have also appeared. Arabic character recognition has only recently begun, and uh, since the beginning of the uh, 2000s, 
it has rapidly become an active field with the development of OCR using AI mentioned above. Now, let's talk about the importance of Arabic OCR. First of all, as I mentioned earlier, uh, it is possible to save labor when printing. Second, OCR makes it possible to search in text, making it easier to analyze the content. Besides, the digital textualization of manuscripts will give more people access to old Arabic sources. The conversion of materials into digital texts will also lead to the activation of research. On the other hand, OCR is not all purpose. To read Arabic materials, uh, you must basically use Arabic specific OCR. And also, OCR is not 100% accurate, no matter how precise it is. A final check by the human eyes is always required. Then, let's see how accurate Arabic OCR is for manuscripts. Uh, I tried to use some Arabic OCRs for the Maghrebi style manuscript. The manuscript used is shown in figure one. Uh, sorry. And this is a Maghrebi style. The first OCR is I used was Convierto. The result is shown in the figure. Almost no characters are read, uh, are read and the manuscript itself is recognized upside down. This has also happened with some other services. The next example is Google document. The orientation of the manuscript was correctly recognized. On the other hand, Google document should be able to determine the language automatically, but it is probably recognized as Urdu here. The shape of calf and ha is uh, specific for Urdu. The last one to show is I2 OCR. The recognition uh, of direction and language is set to Arabic. Uh, sorry, the recognition language is set to Arabic, and the di uh, direction is correct. But the recognition result is not valid as Arabic text. To be fair, these Arabic OCRs are very accurate for printed Arabic texts. However, there is no ready to use OCR softwares on handwritten Arabic manuscripts. Why is it so difficult to make an OCR for handwritten Arabic manuscripts? The first is that the direction is not constant. Annotations in Arabic manuscripts tend to be written uh, radially around the text. And it takes that uh, it makes the text difficult to recognize. It is like the figure two. Second, it is difficult to distinguish between the dots attached to individual letters and the uh, phonetic symbols. Third, the ligature ligatures are frequent. At last, there are various styles. 
it is probably necessary to create an OCR for each style. A problem unique to Maghrebi styles is the shape of the fur and the cuff. As shown in the right, uh, cuff in Maghrebi style has a shape similar to fa in other Arabic scripts. And the fa is easily confused with ba. And from the above, we can see that we need to create an OCR that specializes in Maghrebi style. So, how to make OCR uh, on handwritten Arabic manuscript? The procedure for creating OCR uh, using AI is roughly like this slide. First, creation of training data. Uh, extract the shapes of beginning, middle, and ending of individual letters from the manuscript. Second, uh, make AI learn training data, like uh, this is Arif, this is Ba, and this is Ta. And third, uh, make AI recognize uh, test data that is another manuscript, and measure accuracy. Fourth, uh, collect training data based on test results and make AI relearn. Then, repeat steps from second to fourth until the accuracy of, AC, uh, accuracy of AI becomes satisfactory. Uh, those steps are too heavy for isolated outsider of informatics as me. But currently, there are several platforms for making OCR. Typical ones are Transcribes and Kraken. These use machine learning or AI on scanned historical documents. And users train these platforms with any style to recognized as digital texts. And uh, these require programming knowledge, but various study sessions and workshops are held for beginners. Uh, then, I also talk here about the signif significance of philo philologists participating in such digital humanities. In order to improve the performance of OCR, uh, it is essential to have someone who can accurately decipher the context of each document. That is professional philologist. And as an interdisciplinary field, collaboration between philology and informatics is becoming more and more important. Finally, I would like to talk about the outlook in connection with my research. I'm currently working on Al Jazuri, who had a he is Sufi and he had a great influence on Moroccan Sufism since the 15th century. His unpublished and not analyzed books uh, include works on asceticism and training manuals for, for murids, which amount to hundreds of leaves, uh, hundreds of leaves of folios. So I am attending a a study session on transcripts, and I'm planning to transcribe these manuscripts into text. And these slides show bibliographies.
I hope that this presentation will make you interested in OCR. Thank you for your attention.